se so good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun on my Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing great. It's been a long time since our last video. I'm sorry about that. We've just been super busy and unfortunately there was no time to make videos. But we're alive and well and as some of you may know in November we moved to a house. We're now in the kitchen and Rancho's in his favorite spot which is the kitchen couch. So after five and a half years we left our tiny apartment and we moved to a much bigger house with just a tiny backyard. And that's also why I'm making this video, because I often hear people say that having a Belgian Shepherd in an apartment is a terrible idea, that you need a house with a big backyard. And many people even decide for a different breed altogether just because they think apartments and Belgian Shepherds or any big high energy dogs just don't go together. And that's why I decided to make this video and kind of show you how much of a difference it is to have a dog like this in a house versus in an apartment. So basically I'll talk about how our life has changed since we moved out here and whether I think having a dog in a small apartment is a problem. And also at the end of the video I'll share with you what Rancho's breeder and also another very experienced Belgian Shepherd breeder think about this issue. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I know that everyone's situation may be slightly different depending on where your house or apartment is located, but I'll be talking about our own experience, which is moving from a city apartment to a house in a village. But first, let me just clarify one thing. Rancho still lives inside of the house with us. We're not planning on moving his doggy bed out to the backyard anytime soon. He's just not the kind of dog that would enjoy being alone. He's the exact opposite. And Belgian Shepherds, like most other dog breeds, are social pack animals and they need companionship just like us, you know, and they just thrive living with their packs of humans. And that's what I believe. So how has our life changed since we moved from a small 56 square meter apartment to a house? Well, number one, the biggest change is definitely the backyard and it's great. You know, in the apartment we had to go out four times a day and even though two of those walks were just very short, each time we had to get dressed, put Rancho on a leash and go for a walk. Now, instead of the two short potty walks, we just let him out in the backyard so it's for sure more convenient and easier now. But it can also mean less physical activity for the dog. So for people, this is a big plus, but maybe for the dog, living in an apartment is actually better in this respect. <laughs> and once our backyard is fully fenced in, which now it isn't, 
it'll be even better because we'll be able to leave Rancho there for longer periods of time. But it's definitely gonna take some getting used to because for now he's not too keen on staying there alone. But even now he's already spending more time outside, you know, mostly just on the terrace where we can see him and he can see us. He's always keeping an eye on us. And the second we leave the kitchen, he's on his feet demanding to go inside. So <laughs> we're gonna have to work on that. But definitely having a backyard is a big, big plus. Okay, number two, a bigger house means more space. And that means a bigger couch. Because when Rancho stretched out on the couch in our apartment, there wasn't really much more space left. Now there's enough room for all of us. Also in the apartment, the bedroom was only big enough to fit our bed, a dog bed and a closet, nothing more. So now, you know, having more space for everything is so much better. And it also means more space for training and play. You know, before we could only train in a small cramped hall which wasn't ideal but to be honest we still prefer to train outside you know even play so that's not something we take advantage of very often but having more space is definitely better if you have a big dog especially if you have a crate and you have a big dog you need to be able to fit the crate somewhere number three this is something that used to be a problem in the apartment and it was constantly bringing mud into the building uh, you know when the weather was rainy uh, we still had to go on walks to the forest and we kept bringing mess inside. So very often there would be a trail of mud behind us in the corridors or on the stairs. And we also only had a bathtub and we had to lift Rancho up, carry him to the bathroom and put him in the bathtub, which was quite hard, especially for me. And now it's so much easier because we can just leave our shoes at the door. And when Rancho is dirty, which is almost always, <laughs> Right now, you know, in the winter, we have a shower in the basement and it's so much more convenient. We can just use the shower, wash his paws, wash his belly, and then he's clean. Okay, number four is actually something that's a little more complicated now because this house has three floors and Rancho often spends hours at a time on one of the floors, either working with me or my husband without having access to his water bowl or his dog bed. We had to buy an additional bed, water bowl and a feeding mat. So yeah, in a house like this, it can get more expensive to have a dog, but I hope it's just a one-time investment and that's it. Okay, number five, another change is since we moved to a village, we're much closer to nature. In fact, we have a forest and a beautiful meadow right outside our house. So often we don't even have to put Rancho on a leash. And it also means that there aren't that many people with dogs. And so far we've met like maybe five people with dogs on our walks. And we've been living here for almost three months. So that's quite a dramatic change because we were used to meeting a lot of people and dogs on our walks back in the city. I really like this peace and quiet, but Rancho is a very social dog. And I guess he wouldn't mind meeting more dogs. Okay, number six, since we moved here, Rancho has grown even more attached to us, which is a bit of a problem because he started showing signs of separation anxiety when we leave. It's a new environment for him. And because of COVID, we're both working from home most of the time and he's almost never alone. And then when we do leave, he doesn't take it too well. For sure, it's better to have a house if your dog howls and barks when you leave because it doesn't disturb all the neighbors. But in our case, we live in a semi-detached house. So we have to be careful because we want to be on good terms with our next door neighbors. And we don't want Rancho to be stressed each time we leave either. So, so we're going to work on that. This actually reminded me of a video I saw before we got Rancho. It was of two turves alone in their house, howling when their owner left. And back then I found it funny and cute, but now I feel like it's a real issue with turves. They really don't like being alone. Uh, and one would think that if you get another dog, the two of them wouldn't be so lonely. And yet these two just howl together, you know, in unison. <laughs> 
And also Rancho's half brother had the same problem with howling after moving house. So here it's not really about whether you have a house or an apartment. It's more about knowing about this issue and teaching your dog to be alone from the start. And I'm hoping that Rancho will get used to this new environment and in the end he'll be fine when left alone, just like he was in the apartment. But in these COVID times, it's very, very difficult. I might actually make a separate video about this. Just let me know if that's something you would be interested in. And lastly, now that we moved, we just don't have that much time. You know, having a house is a lot more work than having an apartment. And especially in the beginning, we just didn't have that much time for Rancho. Now things are finally settling down, but there's always work waiting for you somewhere around the house. So maybe a life in an apartment isn't that bad after all. You'll for sure have more time for the dog and maybe you'll be a more active dog owner. So all in all, I'd say that having a Belgian Shepherd in a house is slightly easier than in an apartment. But to me, it's not really such a big deal. Obviously, I talked from our own experience and every situation may be different. But if you're an active person, it doesn't really matter whether you have your Belgian Shepherd in a house or apartment. It's more about how much time and training you're willing to dedicate to the dog. I remember when we first picked Rancho and told the breeder we lived in an apartment. She said it was absolutely fine. She said that the people who have their dogs in apartments spend much more time with them, train them more, and therefore the dogs are often happier. And I also remember an article that I read years ago in which one of the most experienced breeders of Belgian Shepherds in our country said that a Belgian Shepherd of any variety would much rather live with you in a 20 meter studio apartment than be left alone in the backyard most of the day. And I completely agree with that because they're social dogs and more than anything, they just need your companionship and they don't want to be alone. So apartment or a house, it doesn't really matter. It's just about your commitment to the dog. So let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear from you. Do you have your dog in a house or apartment? And that's all from us today. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. It's a good